thank goodness. All right, well. Welcome back to Hobby Bolt. My name is Skylar, and as you guys can probably tell, it's been a month since I've uploaded. So let's get right into what this video is, and I want to let you know what I've been doing this last month. Basically, a lot of this. This is Warhammer. By the way, anyone who plays Warhammer, like, does this plastic injection smell a certain way? Like, I do a bunch of Gundams, as you guys very well know, and they do not smell like this. It's very weird. Warhammer, uh... You know what? I'm not going to get too into it because this is a Gunpla channel, but I know a bunch of people who build Gunpla also do Warhammer and miniatures, and I just have to say, they are a pain in the butt to put together. I have tiny fingers and it still takes forever for me to put one of these bad boys together, but I have chosen the Sisters of Battle, as you can see here. I feel like any girl, like particularly if you happen to have a girl that you want to get into Warhammer, Show them the Sisters of Battle, because who doesn't love badass chicks with guns and wings? I mean, I don't know. That's kind of my aesthetic. I literally have a Kalia deck on Magic the Gathering, so... I kind of like the angel aesthetic. Anyways, let me just cut right to the basic here. Let me just cut right to the point. Oh, I just realized that's on. Oh, look at this, look at this. I'm so excited. Ah! My last upload was my giveaway. And I have determined that the next time I do a giveaway, I need to do a live aspect to it, something so that people know where to go to watch my drawing and everything like that. It's my first time doing a giveaway. I was a little bit nervous. I truly have a tender heart and I really hate that I couldn't let everyone win, but have no fear. I have an amazing community who is willing to help give kits to giveaways and everything like that. And I look so look forward to giving you guys more opportunities for a giveaway, especially in the holiday season. So I just wanted to make sure it was executed perfectly and it was easy. So the kits are now with exactly who won them, but do not fret. I have a bunch of people who are more than happy to help donate kits and things like that for a future giveaway. So please definitely stick around. I'm also going to be showing you this guy right here. His name is Gunpla Bro and he has a giveaway that he's gonna do when he's collected a thousand subs on YouTube. It's a hefty goal, it takes a while to get there, but he's giving away a PG Zaku 2. PG is better than my giveaway because it's a PG, a perfect grade. Little intimidating for new people, but honestly, who wouldn't wanna start with a Zaku? Honestly, you know what? When it comes to Zaku's, they're not my favorite kit to build. I don't know, I think it has to do with all the tubing and everything like that, you would think as a lovely Char fan that I would enjoy doing Zaku's? I do not. <laughs> I do not. I would rather do a Sanaju or like a Sanaju. Yeah, right there. Oh, check out this cool display. I will let you guys know about this here in the future, definitely, because I think it turned out so freaking cool. I know it's a little distracting. I didn't <laughs> mean to leave it on strobe nightclub mode, but you know what? We're going to keep it for now. Look at how cool it looks. A lot of YouTubers do this thing every December for the holidays, for the entire, either the entire month or when the holiday season stops, they upload a video every single day. Now, because I have not been able to find my little groove into consistency, I am using this as a challenge to create something every single day for 30 days and upload videos every single day on what I'm gonna call not Vlogmas, but Mobile Suit Mus. Mobile suit must, mecha must. I couldn't really think of a really good name. I wanted to use mobile suit because it has to at least, you know, be Gundam. You know what I mean? Like, I don't just want it to be like mecha mess and it'd be like any mecha. Although I love all mecha, all mecha. It's not equal, but I do love mecha. Dude, this looks so cool. That's what I'm gonna do. So for third, oh, actually technically it's more than 30 days. December is 31 days, so. I haven't determined whether I want to stop right at like holiday time, so like the 25th, or if I want to go completely to New Year's, but you know what? No. It takes 30 days to develop a habit, so I'm going to at least do 30 days consistent uploads. I'm going to try and keep a schedule and get it at a like set time. Bear with me, I am brand new to YouTube and I'm still trying to learn the best. I love editing. Editing is one of my favorite things to do. The only problem is I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to things. It takes me forever to produce something. So I am, that's why this is a challenge for me. That's why this is a massive challenge for me. 
I have kept all of my projects that I have started on this channel unfinished, not done, because I am going to be a woman of my word and I'm going to show you how we're gonna fix an old kit. I'm gonna show you some painting. Cubelet, I have the paints that I want to use Cubelet on and anything that you guys wanna see, please feel free to let me know and I will make a video on it. I have a couple like funny, like little weird things. I don't know, I just feel like I'm rambling. I'm so sorry, but it's so good to be back. I'm so excited. I, I, I felt my hair. Look at that, look at that. Get anime hair, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Please stick around, we're gonna have giveaways. I'm gonna try to do giveaways. And we're gonna do a couple of projects and it's gonna be a lot of fun and I look forward to it so much. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Ah! Thank you guys so much as always for all the support. Definitely check out my Instagram community. Um, that is where I am most active. I am there all the time. I gotta catch up on my DMs in Instagram. So if you guys have been in my DMs, I have not been ignoring you. I just can't keep up with everybody. So I'm gonna try and go back and catch all of those up. If you guys wanna tell me anything about Warhammer, dude, please let me know because this lore is really sad and depressing. And I thought Gundam had some sad things, but Warhammer's got it beat. It's got it beat. So if you guys need a shoulder to cry on, just come here, just come here because this stuff is sad. <laughs> At least stick around for the next 25 days or 31 days. Let's, let's, let's see. I know that's very difficult. I have a tendency to spend way too much time on editing and you know what? Let's just have fun. We're doing, we're, we're doing fun stuff. We're doing fun stuff. We're going to fix S Gundam here. We're going to do Cubelay, which I did also say that I would do. We're going to do a couple of backlogs because Lord knows I have a bunch of them. And we're going to get a steady streaming schedule too. So, oh, before I forget too, it is Cyber Monday. Black Friday has passed. I have found that a lot of Black Friday deals aren't too good, but I will say that every Gundam store that I've looked at or any hobby store, they've had some pretty killer Black Friday deals. But Cyber Monday is still going on and I want you guys to check out Gundam Pros. I have talked to him quite a bunch. I know a few friends who are sponsored by them and I just think they're a great store and they're super fast with their shipping and everything like that. So let me go ahead and shout out Gundam Pros right here from New Bedford, Massachusetts. I used to live in Mass. So I just thought it was so cool to finally find somebody who is doing Gundams in Massachusetts because that whole Boston area, the whole New England area has my heart and soul, definitely. I quite love them. But yes, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be doing this. If you guys have any ideas or things that you want me to do, I know I get plenty of questions every single day and I try to answer as best I can. But if there's anything that you guys wanna see or whatever, or just me being me, I will continue to do that. But yeah, oh, I'm so excited for this. Seriously though, Warhammer. So I've been able to play it on this thing called Tabletop Simulator. I have a couple of, oh no. I love boxes. I don't know why. Am I not the only person who really likes boxes and box art? I am very upset that I just ripped that. That makes me very upset. I'm probably not gonna keep the Warhammer boxes, but Gundam boxes, I swear, if anything happens, like my cat sits on them and they indent, I freak out. I kind of freak out. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but yes, I'm definitely gonna be showing you guys this right here. This is like a super budget thing. I'm not gonna keep it this way. Um, that bottom, that bottom area is supposed to be able to keep some of my backlog or what I'm currently working on. I, I'm kind of digging the one kit on each shelf, but I made it so it wasn't just like a highlight. If you notice, there's a bit of dimension to it. I think I'm gonna put like a reflected background on it or something like that. But tell me those don't look good. They look so good, literally. So yes, I'm gonna make a video on this so you guys can see this. I'm gonna show you the background because the background also, you probably can't see it too well. It reflects as well. I had to get rid of, I have mirrors on this whole entire wall here. And with the fact that it's like medic white in here, like it's, it's sterile white in this room because I was using it for workout videos, but it's not working too well because when I put lights and things on it, it reflects back. And all of these mirrors, I love the way they look, but they make it so hard to film something appropriately. It's ridiculous. The lights bounce off of it. They create these weird shadows. They make me feel like I'm so ugly, but that would happen to anyone. It makes you, it shows like every single pore and everything like that, which is totally human, but 
I'm really, truly very excited to be back doing YouTube videos again. I think it's so fun. Ever since I was a kid, I liked doing filmography and stuff like that. Is that the right word? Mm. I don't know, I never did anything in film and I always wanted to do something in film and it's so fun to kind of relive it here. I will say it's kind of intimidating. There are quite a few of you right now <laughs> and there's like a whole bunch of people and I know they're trying so hard to get the attention and I really want to do a community spotlight for YouTubers, Instagram people, any creator because I just am so inspired by finding other artists, other Gunpla builders, people doing weird stuff. Uh, the Warhammer community has really, truly just opened my eyes to miniature painting and I'm kind of excited to start that. But again, this is a Gunpla channel, so we're not gonna get into Warhammer, but I have to say I am very, very impressed with what I've seen from miniature painters. But yeah, oh my gosh, thank you guys so, so, so much for all of your support. It means the world to me that you guys are even taking two seconds to pay attention to me. I have started getting people who find me very annoying and you know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry if you stumbled upon this and you're like, you're annoying as crap, but it's the way I am. I'm not for everybody. I'm so sorry if you don't like me, but just go on, move along. I can tell you about 5 million other Gunpla creators that you would probably enjoy watching, but we do things a little bit different here. I love this S Gundam. I, I, I truly am. I'm excited to get this really fixed up. I am a fan of S Gundam. Oh my gosh, we have so much to look forward to this month too. Maybe not too much, but we do have the RX-78 Unleashed. I do not have it on pre-order. I was kind of rolling the dice on getting the RX-78 because that's a lot of money to commit to, especially when I'm a personal trainer and money is not coming in quite so easily. But that's everybody's case, right? So maybe if I get enough interest, I really want that PG really, really badly. I really do want to build it, but I just don't think it's in the cards to buy it this, this month. But anyways, let me know what you guys are working on. Let me know what you want to work on, what you're excited for. I want to hear all of it. Give me questions. I can do a Q&A video or something like that. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do 31 days of videos, but you know what? I kind of like the challenge. I kind of like the challenge. We will see if it turns out well. I'm gonna do whatever I can. You know what? And I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for the days where it's like a minute long video being like, I don't know what to do, but here's this kit. Okay, thank you, bye. Thank you guys so, so, so much for all your support. Like I cannot even begin to tell you how amazing it makes me feel that people appreciate what I'm doing and the time I'm putting into stuff. I appreciate all of you guys like five million times. It's ridiculous. Yeah, so I still got S Gundam, which you guys know about. We have to finish this project because it's killing me that it's not done. But you know what's really cool about what I'm doing like for Mobile Suit Mess is being able to catch up on some projects that I have not like done. XE, I have an Xia project that is actually kind of I'm, I'm excited for i've spent a lot of time on it but we need to do the s and then the xs like there's so much to do oh my goodness thank you guys so 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 much for watching i will see you guys tomorrow tomorrow for mobile suit mess day one numero uno ah